For years, I've wondered what kind of person it takes to chase this rush of adrenaline on a Friday, only to have the discipline to catch their breath on a Saturday. If this is what a balanced lifestyle looks like, show me how. Wow. <laughs> Way back when, I don't know if you guys remember, 2015, uh, I drove a white Mark III Supra that had a lot of power. Uh, that was owned by Dwayne, friend Dwayne, back here. Uh, that was like the first real, power, really powerful car that I ever drove. The first car that truly scared the shit out of me, uh, to put it bluntly. Uh, so today, basically this video is just going to show you guys why it's important to have a well-rounded garage. Uh, not only can you have a Four, I'll call it a four digit Supra in your garage. Dwayne also has a couple of Hayabusa's, Turbo Boosts, like insane stuff, insane things that any normal person should probably stay away from. Uh, but also he comes out here on the weekend and does some wheeling. So we're just gonna go up, see what we can get into, see if we can't get stuck, uh, hopefully not. Dwayne, you said you're going down to 18 PSI, 15 uh, PSI? 15. 15. Also got six speed Gladiator over there, which I had no idea they even made a six-speed Gladiator. But yeah, we'll do a full walk around when we get up there. All right, you guys, let's do this. Oh yeah, your side visibility is really compromised here. <laughs> Just a little bit, I can still see it. Yeah, no, absolutely. Oh yeah, so electronic sway bar disconnect. That's kind of cool. So at 27 kilometers per hour, this sway bar will automatically connect on its own. We got manually adjustable shocks all around, so Dwayne's just making it a little bit softer. I can't figure out how to change the seat, though. <laughs> oh yeah, I guess we're gonna find out. Well, and honestly, like, this winter has not been that cold, so. Keep an eye on my heater. <laughs> it's basically the water's just cut a whole groove through this entire uh, stretch of land here. Oh, the, the ground. Yeah, big washout here. Washout, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, you're good. <laughs> All right, there's 18 degrees. When do you start getting freaked out with the roll? Uh, the... 24. Okay. Because it's 24, it's a little sketchy, not gonna lie. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we got this tree, we got another tree oh, over there. I was gonna say, I can't get through there right now because I didn't bring the chainsaw. We went through here in the summer, we broke trail right here. Yeah. And it's a major washout. Obviously, it's gotten a lot worse. Yeah. Oh, wow, this backup camera is amazing. It's pretty good. Just barely enough space. Okay, I won't be doing that again. I said that the last time though. I get it, bro. It's funny. Uh, I saw you put it up there. I'm like, he's going to wiper that thing off. Let's <laughs> <laughs> see if he can get up here. I'm going to say probably not. Oh, right up here on the right? Yeah. Are you going to try this or no? Yeah, I'll follow you as far as I can. Easy. Oh, this is pretty gnarly. 
That's a little bit of a rut here. Okay. It's a little bit of a rut. Yeah. Just a little. Oh wow. Holy shit. <laughs> Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> wow, that was intense. That was a bit of a drop, eh? That was a big drop. <laughs> Dave, uh, yeah, had a bit of a drop, but everything's okay. <laughs> so we're gonna try it now. Only one of us has a winch. <laughs> oh, the heater's getting close. Oh yeah, you're good, you're good. How did, how did you take such a better, like a smoother line than he did? Oh, it's because it's, I put my lockers on and I'm on 37s. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Wow. It's amazing what uh, what difference the tires make, eh? Oh, huge. But see the difference oh, in... Hit oh, no. <laughs> it wasn't no, it, You gotta hit record, dude. It was on. <laughs> it was on. Don't be an asshole. <laughs> I did forget that a couple of times, that's why. Every YouTuber's worst nightmare. Yeah, we'll just put her in drive. Oh yeah, that's not nothing. I mean, we don't have water coming in yet. We're just we're just missing the heated seats and the heated steering wheel. The only options Dwayne didn't get. Otherwise, I'd be living in luxury. Oh, this is too cool though. So basically, what we're just in four low, not uh, diffs not locked, and right. sway bars disconnected right now. That's right. Yeah. All right. It does feel really like loosey goosey. It kind of makes you feel like you can just go over anything. She's good. Okay. Oh, totally. I agree with you. What's that? I said, how deep is it? Balls deep. No, it's, it's, it's fine. Uh, yeah, it's like the last one. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely the first ones through here all day. Hey, bud. Seen a bear twice out here. Wouldn't that be something? That's always good for you two bear encounters, right? Hey, bud. That's Ripley. Not Ripley's, believe it or not. Yeah. <laughs> She's our scout for the day. Hey, you're doing a pretty good job. Not a bad job. We're gonna see if there's an opening up here, then we're gonna stop. I'll talk to Dwayne and we can kind of figure out how he goes from uh, four digit Supras, turbocharged Hayabusa's, to just coming out here, you know, I mean, it's during the week for us because we can do it, but if you're out here on the weekend, just wheeling and getting away from everybody. Some of the best times are when you have no cell service, in my opinion, so. Looks shallow here. It looks like it's gonna get deeper up there, though. Oh, it's gonna get deeper. Yeah. That's why I have all my wheat gear out just in case. Yeah. You never know. There's gonna be a doozy. Because <laughs> I get full of mud here. Good thing he got his stuff out. Are your plugs out? <laughs> There's gotta be one out. Oh, maybe I forgot to put a plug back in. 
Oh my god. We were in water way deeper than this and never got water in. No, I didn't. You're right. I left the plug out. What are you going to do? There's a lot to go over. I mean, we could make this video an hour long, but... <laughs> <laughs> we could. This is a 21 Rubicon. It's a turbo version. I'm all about boost, so eventually this will be upgraded. The first thing you, anybody should do, in my opinion, is a winch. Not everybody puts winches. I actually have two on, on the back and the front just because I, I go out a lot and yeah. I go out solo. I have it on the back today just because my buddy took his winch off because he's doing a new build. So the front is a factory bumper. Now, not a lot of people are fans of this, but I like it because you can take off the ends if you need to, but also it's a nice and subtle mod. I like things simple and subtle, kind of like my, my other toys. Also attached to this is the Warren Winch, it's a 10S. It's a wireless remote. I like the wireless remote simply because, well, I just don't want to be in front of it. I'd rather be sitting behind the wheel. In the bumper also is rigid lights. I'm a huge fan of rigid. So they are a little on the pricier side, but in my opinion, they're the best. That's what I've always used. Fog lamps for the front. I've also got rigid uh, A-pillars for the, well, on the A-pillars. And I'm running uh, the rock lights as well. Snorkel. Snorkel was actually my second modification because I love water crossings, but at the same time, I don't want to sink the Jeep and have it flood with water. Yeah. So, but the snorkel is, in my opinion, is crucial because it's not only about water. People think it's all about water, but it's also about clean air when you're on the dirt roads. But I've added the suspension. I've got uh, Terraflex uh, suspension with Falcon adjustable shocks. It's a three and a half inch lift on 37s, the Mickey Thompson tires. In my opinion, the best tires, they're 37 by 12, 12 and a half. Mm -hmm. So it's got automatic sod steps. This is, these are actually turned off right now, yep. but they, they pop down as you can see right here. It's because, a clean look. This is super clean. I would have never guessed that they were there. Yeah, I just turn them off inside the cabin and that way, uh, you know, I don't have to worry about them banging off stuff if I open them up. So uh, trail racks, I'm running the trail racks mounts for the side, which are pretty awesome as well. And I run the rotor packs on this. And because I have a diesel heater, <clears throat> excuse me, on the so other side, when I go winter camping, I usually have an extra diesel rotor packs on the side and sometimes the water or sometimes the gas. It just depends on, honestly, it just depends on where you're going. To, to tell you how good this is, minus 14 degrees Celsius, which is, I don't know, what is that, two, two 10? Ooh, that's gotta be, yeah, in the teens Fahrenheit, maybe, 20s. Okay, so this was over 20 degrees Celsius in the tent. That's how warm it is. Wow. Makes a big difference. Yeah. So I have this, for, I like winter camping. Not everybody does. I've got chains to go with it. Water tank up here is for my shower. So this is uh, 33 oh. liters or eight gallons. I've got a gauge on it, which seemed to be a broke, I guess, because of all the, it's not really designed for, you know, negative temperatures like that. Yeah. This is a shower awning. This basically comes out, it's a cubicle. Oh, that's so cool. A shovel axe, quick release here, they can also lock. Yeah. And then I run a Zargs case, which all my recovery gear goes up top. And I've got my Max tracks up top as well on top of that. That's all modified and customized. Because this is so thin, you can't just drill a hole for these and have the Max tracks because it's going gonna, it's gonna to be too flimsy. Mm -hmm. So we just added this on. So you know Frank, Frankenstein Speed Custom. He um, helped me out with that and we got that done. Uh, these are pretty cool. These are super cool. Yeah, I love this. Super handy. Yeah. I'm all about efficiency and keeping it a clean setup. Something else cool that I like, I'm all about the efficiency too, but this is uh, something we made. Just slides out. It's a table, a stainless table. Oh, wow. And we made this at Frankenstein Speed Custom too. Sure. So the winch is yeah. not finished. I just put this on. I've only I've used it three times already. So what happens is I put a riser on the bottom. You can see it's right here. So I can mm -hmm. just lock it so it has no wobble on it. Yeah. But I'm gonna put an adjustment here and this is gonna pop down because currently I can't open up the hatchback, which yeah. is fine, or the, the door, but, and this is what I use for airing up. Although I do have onboard air, I prefer to run the power tank because it's faster and it's more efficient. I use air up, air down all the time. I get about five sets of tires out of this. Wow. It's a 10 pound tank. Then of course you got this cooking display. You see all that gourmet cooking on here. Oh yeah. 
That's for the gram, dude. That wooden piece there, that's, yes. that's what it is. That's exactly it. <laughs> and then I've got a little uh, storage unit here on the sides. So I can put all my extra stuff in here. Explain to people how you go from the adrenaline rush of like big turbo, four digit Supra to Jeeps. Like, have you always been into Jeeps or is this kind of no, like an extra really. thing? No, not really. Just met some friends and you know, with this COVID stuff happened in the last couple of years, I found that I just want to get out because no one's allowed to go anywhere or whatever, you know, so, you know, just get out and enjoy the, the outdoors. So I just like to relax and unwind sometimes, you know, not, not always be about that adrenaline. Although this is, it's not an adrenaline, it's a different kind of adrenaline. Does that yeah. make sense? Yeah, it does. I mean, you were driving through the water just now and it's kind of a different kind of a rush, you know? Yeah. So you got to pay attention to different things. You do. You're yeah. always on board. Like I have this heater sticking out. I don't normally have tight trails like we did today, mm -hmm. but you have to watch out for stuff like that. Yeah. You know, it's, you're always alert. It's something a little bit different. Yeah. But the cool thing about wheeling, it's not just the wheeling, it's the camping, it's the camaraderie with some people you meet, like Dave, my good buddy here, just campfire, a couple of beers and some good cooking. I do lots of cooking too, so yeah. me and the lady, so I love it. This is uh, iCamper Mini. And the cool thing about this is it does lock, not like you really need a lock, someone's gonna steal it, but you never know, but it locks onto here. It opens up, it's a two man tent. Mm -hmm. Hold on a second. I got number, what number is this? A wrong number, that's why it won't fit. I don't know why I'm half retarded right now. <laughs> okay. It's the cameras, dude. It is, sometimes it does that to you, you know? Yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> okay, why is that doing that? Don't tell me this now. <laughs> but why is that like that? It's all- Quick, the sun's going down. <laughs> Pop this open. You put your two things here and you're done. Yeah. Very simple. Whoa, that is cool. fun nothing's broken yet we haven't got stuck yet I mean <laughs> we got some water in the bottom but we'll see well we're gonna have some food next oh nice we got we got no guns how are we gonna get food I, nah I'm just I, kidding I killed a cow <laughs> Oh yeah, it's like Top Gear. You got it strapped onto the onto the roof. Yeah. That's so crazy. Cool, right? Yeah. Dwayne's got the drone up in the air. If you guys haven't already, if you want to see more of Dwayne's stuff, I mean, Dwayne, how many days a week are you going out like this? How many days? Yeah. Uh, I usually go out once a week. Okay. If you guys haven't already subscribed to Dwayne's channel, definitely check it out. Just Jeeping Adventures. Yeah, if you guys want to see more off-road stuff, please let me know too. It's kind of like the slow season, the off season, at least for sports car stuff here in BC. You know what, it'd be nice if I had a, like a full day of it doing it, you know? You really kind of need it a full day. When we go filming, we do it all day. And all night. And all night. <laughs> we've, been done it, we've done uh, wheeling right till five in the morning we can't find our spot yeah. <laughs> it's like fuck yeah, so Dwayne thanks again no no worries man it was awesome thanks Dave you need to go out with us when we go on even crazier trails yeah this is a, a beginner trail kind yeah. of yeah yeah you got something different but hey if you you have your bike license now you're willing to get onto my turbo bike 
<laughs> oh, that's a big ass, bro. I don't know. <laughs> this feels much safer. All right, you guys. Okay. See you soon.